Hey guys, about the first 10 minutes or so of this video is going to be about talking about this gun and me ranting on some of the trolls or whatnot about talking about the reliability of this weapon. If you don't want to hear that and hear some basic facts about this gun and a few others, then just skip to the, uh, towards the end, I'll put a timestamp when the shooting actually starts. But be sure to stay to the very end and watch the slow motion blowing up the slender block and the pop bottles. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. And I'm sure Dean Shoot will enjoy that part. He really likes the slow motion video and it was really raining some sun kissed. Good morning, people of YouTube. How's everybody doing today? It's Blue Light Bandit here with a shooting video. I know it's been a while since I've done a shooting video, but you know, I've had a lot going on and uh, I got to spread the wealth some with guitars and other stuff. So this video is going to be for Mr. Goins that's been on me about making a shooting video and also Mr. M16223, I believe your name username is. I can't remember. It don't matter. But anyway, this is for you also. I've had this for, I don't know, at least a month or so. I haven't shot it yet. Uh, I have seen so many comments and so many people have given me shit over buying this gun. Uh, specifically, uh, Mr. M16 uh, said that it was a piece of shit and I should take it back and buy me a dependable, dependable gun. Well, Mr. M16, I've got plenty of dependable guns and I don't have, if I had an underdependable one, I'd either fix it myself or send it back or do something with it. I wouldn't keep it. And I have no doubt that this would, this weapon will be just fine. And another thing is I want this gun. I don't need it. It's one of my bucket list guns that I just wanted to have. So, you know, there you go. But the thing about it, and it's not just that M16 dude saying it, there was other people talking about how unreliable they are. And the thing about this is, guys, is most of the people that are saying this have never even handled one of these guns. They just go by what they've read on the internet from other trolls. And all they, all they do is jam. Uh, they malfunction. They stovepipe. Failure to feed. Failure to do extra. All this other stuff. Kentucky Ballistics just done a video on how reliable the Desert Eagle was, and it's the exact same model that I have, exact same ported 50 AE. And he, damn, he put it through some shit. I mean, he he uh, dipped it in mud and sand, and uh, it didn't malfunction. And I, I, I knew it wouldn't. You can't expect something like this to be dipped in that type of debris all in the action and, and it work. It's just probably not going to happen. This gun is not the same as that gun. Okay. The Glock is like the AK 47 of handguns because they are so damn reliable and they function almost all the time. I've never had one to, to malfunction on me out of the eight that I have. And this one particularly, I've talked about it. It's a Gen 1, and I bought this around 94, I believe. And it's got uh, somewhere around 100,000 rounds put through it. All original uh, parts are still in at the guide rod spring. Nothing's been changed. I won the firearms reward with it in rookie school and carried it before I was issued my own firearm. And it still drives tax to these, to this day. It's an awesome gun. And it's, it's a meant for, uh, to do one thing and that's shoot. It's not pretty. Uh, a lot of people think they're ugly. Well, who cares what it is? It's made for one purpose. And that is, sorry guys, I had to cut out and butcher this video up a little bit. Cause I got a little excited with my rant. So if it seems pieced together and it's not flowing, I apologize. Stuff to that effect. This is not made to carry every day. The damn thing weighs five pounds. Who would want to carry this every day? Uh, 
the only function, I mean, it's just not an efficient gun to carry every day for self-defense or combat or whatever else you can think of. You know, you can take a hog hunting if you want to. Uh, but are you going to be crawling through the damn mud and dipping it in sand and everything? No. I mean, if you are, there's, you know, that's you make an interesting video. But it's nowhere near what this is as far as reliable it goes. And this, this Desert Eagle costs uh, several times more than what this did. But this is more or less my safe queen, something I can get out and shoot everyone. Because, damn, it costs nearly $2 a shot. You know, these rounds range anywhere from, I don't know, I can't remember, maybe a dollar fifty up to on up. And I think these particular ones that I have were are about two dollars a shot. So, you know, I can't afford to shoot this all the time. But today I'm gonna to take it out. I'm gonna shoot it for the very first time. I'm not I haven't cleaned it. I haven't done anything to it. No lube, nothing. It's bone dry. And I'm even going to shoot it one-handed right off the bat. And I guarantee you, it'll work flawlessly. A lot of people that shoot these and have malfunctions is operator error. Okay? These are big guns. They weigh five pounds. Most people don't have got, you know, this is, this is a big gun for me. You know, I can barely touch my middle finger to my thumb. And I bet most people can't do that. It's got, you know, smaller hands. And that's a lot of weight to be holding up. So chances are, if you if this malfunctioned on you and it's not a mechanical problem, you're limp wristing it. This is a blowback set. It takes it's a gas operated pistol, which you know this is is not like this. This is like the same uh operating system or similar to like what's on rifles, an AK, so to speak. If you use underpowered ammunition, it will malfunction. It has to have enough pressure to push that slide all the way back. And there is two springs in here. Most, I don't know of any other handgun uh, that has dual springs, but most of all weapons, uh, handguns have only one guide rod spring. The Desert Eagle 50 AE has two that are right beside each other. And it takes a lot of force to push all that steel back. So if you've got cheap ammo, it, more likely it's not going to push it all back and you're going to have a failure to, to feed or whatever. Another thing is if you're using, say, lead ammo, uh, you're going to foul up the gas port or the gas block. And once you do that, it's not going to function properly. You know, you got to use some common sense here, but there's so many internet trolls out there that are saying, oh, it's a piece of shit, it's a paperweight, you got screwed when you bought that. Man, it's my money, I'll do what I want to with it. I wanted this gun, and I'm going to prove to you today that it'll fire right out of the box, one-handed, and I won't have any problems with it. Anyway, so that's my little rant. And going back to the, like what Kentucky Ballistics was doing by dipping it in the sand and everything, uh, you know, I just, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. There's no point in it. There's no point in me doing a destruction test or reliability test. Because I guarantee you, if I took one of these high dollar 1945s or 1911s and done the same thing, they wouldn't work either. That's a National Match Gold Cup Colt MK4 45. And here is a Kimber 1911. And I've got some Smith & Wesson Performance Center 1911s. And I guarantee you that if I was to drop these in the sand or anything, that they wouldn't function either. Hell, the, the Performance Center uh, Special Ops 1911, that's like a $2,500 1911, has malfunctioned on me before without, you know, dipping it in anything. So people give the Desert Eagle a, a bad reputation when they don't really know what they're talking about.
they're just basically trolls. So we'll go out here and see how this shoots with me one-handed and without any lube or anything. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and make an excuse. I've got a jacked up shoulder. I don't know if I can even hold this gun up that long. Good God Almighty. Clear. God, that was badass. Yes, I'd like a liter of cola. Good God of money. <laughs> She's clear. God, that was awesome. <laughs> Yes, I'd like a liter of cola. Got a money. 